Next question is from Howie's mom. What is the benefit of doing an exercise sitting versus standing? Oh, yeah. No, this is a great- Say hi to Howie. Yeah, this is a great conversation because you see bodybuilders often will talk about doing things seated because they say things like they could feel the muscle more, they can concentrate more on the connection. Then you you hear like functional trainers and athletes talk about doing things standing Mm -hmm. because of the stability component because they're engaging more of their body. Right. Okay, uh, which one is better? Uh, this is going to be one of those situations where I'm going to say they're both good. Right. They yeah. both have their value. Training standing or training seated trains different uh, recruitment patterns. Now, you can work the biceps both ways, but there's a recruitment pattern that is involved with the whole body. And here's what ends up happening. This is the funny thing. I remember when I used to think doing an overhead press standing was harder, for example, than a seated overhead press. I thought, oh yeah, you're not gonna be able to lift as much standing as you can seated. And that's because I always did them seated. Then I did them always standing. In fact, I almost always do overhead presses standing. Now I can press more standing than I can seated. And all it highlights is, you get you get good at yeah. one versus the other one, but what they you both do the most of. Yeah, but they both have their value. I mean, how do you, I I toggle just how I feel, right? So because I think they both have value, it's it's like some days I'm in like like Mister Functional mode, and mm-hmm. everything I'm doing yeah. is like standing or challenging stability, and like that's the the goal of the workout of the day, right? Mm-hmm. It's like oh today I want to just be really functional, and I love to do stuff like that when. I know like certain muscle groups are like really, really sore and I don't need to hammer a muscle group. I just, I want to feel good. I want to take things through full range of motion. I want to incorporate my entire body. So then I'll make those choices. Then I have other days where I'm like, oh, I just want like this massive shoulder pump and I'm not really trying to work yeah. anybody else, any other parts of my body right now. And I'm just yeah. going to sit down and do all this stuff. And so I b- bounce back and forth. Oh, I used to be the trainer that was like a total snob about like sitting down. I'm like, nobody's sitting down. Like yeah. <laughs> we're, we're, we're working. Everything you're going to do is standing in a split stance. Like we're, we're using your body, you yeah. know, you're anchoring your body, you're figuring out how to adjust, uh, you know, and compensate for that and, and, and be able to stabilize properly. So I was just always thinking in the functional realm, uh, and less in, you know, in the hypertrophy realm. And so it, there's definitely a, a switch that happened for me once I started to kind of then again, like you said, like I, I went into sitting in, in doing overhead press, even as an example. And, and I, and I couldn't lift what I thought I could lift. And, and it was really just a different stimulus and a different recruitment pattern that I wasn't applying. And so there's well, the, definite value in that. The truth is though, if you you were to only do one and, and not the other. Um, if you had to pick. Yeah, if you had to pick. Well, yeah, standing. Get? Standing. because it's more for, carryover. Well, for the reason, like you said, okay, you're never- Mainly for my clients. I was always what I was You're thinking. never going to find yourself sitting down in a chair having to lift 100, 200 pounds over your head. You just won't. Mm, yeah. Where, or if you will, I'll wait. Tell me, where would you do that? Where would you sit down and then someone hands you 100 something pounds and you have to lift it over your head? But there may be lots of times in your life where you have to pick something up you know, while you're standing on the ground yeah. and lift it over your head. Even playing with my son, I do that all the time, right? So mm-hmm. it's just way more functional to be, like you said, completely connected from your feet. All if the you way had up. to pick. Yeah, if you had to pick. But a perfect scenario, you incorporate both. Yeah, yeah. you yep. even and out. Yeah, both of them have value. I, I like doing both of them, depending, like Adam said, uh, depending on how I feel. Um, if you had to pick one, uh, go standing. But look, this is, there's a reason why when you do different exercises that look very similar, they feel different. There's, there's just a, there's a reason for it. I mean, look, uh, I'll tell you what. You could do a standing lateral, right? Standing, standing lateral with dumbbells. Or you could do standing one arm lateral. Same exercise. feels different. It, it, it totally does feel different. And they both have value. So, And that has to do with the, the way the body communicates with itself and how muscles work together. No muscle works in complete isolation. Yep. And so it's the combination of muscles. It's how you're holding yourself. It's the position of your body. Look at a, a Z press, seated Z press. I mean, that feels... Very different than a seated on a bench press. Mm -hmm. Definitely very different than a standing overhead press. Uh, Do they all have value? They do. Yeah.